welcome friends once again uh, we recently finished a couple of problems right uh, related to this uh, angles uh, means trigonometric ratios and in particular angles right and uh, yeah this these yeah first uh, this was the second one and this was the first one right and uh, from related to this tables right uh, this trigonometric table so now we're doing uh, another the third problem this is uh, yeah this one right uh, it is a bit complex than this right but the method is the same one right so let me do this okay yeah right so here first what I have to find out I have to find out the value of cos 60 uh, up to this label I think you know the table but still uh, uh, let me do this from the table so what is the value of cos 60 right cos 60 see cos 60 is half right so let me write here half uh, 5 and half a square right 5 half a square plus 4 sec square 30 right sec square 30 so let me find out the value of sec square 30 sec and the 30 right sec 30 that is that is 2 open root 3 right so it will be 4 times 2 upon root 3 whole square right since it is the square right again minus 10 square 45 so what is the value of 10 45 let's let me find out from here 10 45 is the 1 right so let me write here again it's 1 square right whole divided by right sine square 30 so what is the value of sine square 30 let me find out it's 1 by 2 that's half right so again half square plus cos square 30 so what's the value of cos square 30 let me find out again here cos square 30 that's root 3 upon 2 right so let me write here it's root 3 upon 2 whole square right now simply see here 5 times 1 upon 2 whole square so let me solve this it's 5 times half a square that will be 1 upon 4 right plus 4 times 2 squared that will be 4 and root 3 squared that will be 3 and minus 1 whole divided by half a square that will be 1 upon 4 right and again root 3 squared that will be 3 and this 2 square will be 4 right so let me do it once again here so 5 times uh, 5 upon 4 it will be right 5 is only applying 1 upon 4 right 1 fourth so it will be 5 upon 4 again see 4 plus uh, 4 multiply 4 4 times 4 that will be 16 upon 3 minus 1 whole divided by 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 right so now how to solve this right first we have to take the LCM of this 4 3 and if there is nothing then still <coughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, actually still there is one right still there is one so uh, let me find out first the LCM of 4 3 and 1 right here 4 3 and 1 so 2 2 za, it's 3 and 1 right so 2 to the 4 4 3 the 12 12 1 the 12 right so our LCM is uh, let me do it here only uh, okay so uh, here we get the LCM 12 right 12 so from here 12 so see f so when uh, this 12 is divided by 4 it will get 3 right so 3 and times whatever it is it's 5 right 5 plus when 3 will divide 12 will get 4 right so times whatever it is it is 16 right and again when 1 it, if there is nothing then there is 1 right so when 1 will divide this 12 will get 12 right so and whole divided by this 1 upon 2 since the base are same so we can directly write 4 so 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 right so again let me do here right so 5 3 is a 15 right it's 5 3 is a 15 plus 4 16 is a 16 4 is a right exactly 64 and again minus 12 whole divided by 1 plus 3 it's 4 upon 4 right so 4 and 4 I can cut this right further let me do now uh, there is nothing uh, in denominator so I will not write in uh, next step anything so 15 plus 64 right so 5 plus 4 right exactly 9 and 1 plus 6 7 right 79 minus 12 I'm only writing right 
and this will be equals to uh, let me write here this will be equals to means 79 minus 12 right so 9 minus 2 it will be 7 and 7 minus 1 this is 1 right 7 minus 1 it's 6 so our answer is 67 right so this is the solution of this question right like this we have to do these all questions okay so keep on watching we are doing lots of problems so it will be more making you uh, perfect in this uh, chapter and more clear in this chapter okay thank you